So, where are you to next? Can I meet you there? I just need to pick up a chisel. Sure. The bad house is just bigger, quick stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just give him my name so they know when I get there. Uh, if we remember it, we will. You don't remember my name? Sure. Chewy? Chortney. Oh, no. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> I could rock Chad. <laughs> <laughs> so you splinter off to look for a chisel. Drove of Marwa. Actually, now that you're on the core spire, not too far as you're heading towards the pathway back to the Fate Walk, you do pass a place called the Prism Emporium, mm -hmm. which is a, a fairly decent size. It looks to be uh, a seller of all sorts of general goods from one end of the spectrum to the other. Yes. Uh, you can see there's a kind of a, a fairly decently lit interior. Um, there's already a few possible patrons wandering the goods and you know, checking and gathering things. And you see a female elf that is eager to kind of make a sale. And while everyone else is in the process of looking about, you have that kind of look of intensity and purpose and leans out and goes, Oh, hi there. You look like you're uh, driven. Driven sort? I am. What you looking for? What can I help you with? Uh, I, I love working with wood. Do you have any wood chisels? I think we just might. Let me check. Turns around, we are, we have everything. <laughs> Goes past the curtain in the back and you hear like some... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. A couple things tumble over and you're like, shit. <laughs> uh -huh. Pulls out a... Uh, a bound, kind of rolled leather assortment, and rolls it out, and there is a full spectrum of various uh, carpentry tools in here. Now, any of these seem to fly your fancy? Yeah, that long one right in the middle, what's the handle made of? It is made of the finest wood. Hmm, I just need the one. How much for just this one? This is uh, this is imported. This is some. This is a fine tool. Found its way after many years from craftsman to craftsman. It is responsible for the development of many of the Mahan house. Uh, How uh, much for the set? <laughs> full set. Full set. I'll give it to you for because uh, you seem like a like a driven fella. About a uh, ten gold. Oh <laughs> God. Ten. Gold? Yeah. About seven. Make a persuasion check. Such, such kind of money. Eighteen. Eighteen? For like a five dollar tool set. Seven gold, five silver, and we'll call it even. <laughs> <laughs> Eager fingers, little friend. Yeah. Uh. All right, all right. Rolls it up, hands it over to you. <laughs> Go to mark off seven and a half gold. I didn't catch your name. Mm. <laughs> My name is Tuyan. Tuyan Natwana. And I run this establishment. Welcome, and thank you for being a patron of the Purism Emporium. Oh, no, Tua. Thank you. <laughs> And I'll turn and leave. <laughs> All right, Dexter. <laughs> You're on the list. To the morning with a long rest. I have one thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. I was still out in the hallway while the stuff was going on. Mm hmm. We're in the. The spire, spire by Fire is in the core spire, Correct. right? Correct, yes. The Prism Emporium is also on the course buyer, yes? It is. I would like to sneak out, please. <laughs> okay. A quick 25 minute detour. Yep. Okay. That I am here for. <laughs> Shopping on his own now? Oh. oh. About what time in the evening? How long has it been dark? You guys weren't out terribly late, and their business probably went late into the night, but if you wanted to sneak out while they were keeping focused in, in those various elements of their Betting down. I would. I would say probably probably two or three hours past sunset. Fair enough. Can I make my way 
to the prison <laughs> emporium. Yes, you may. What would you like to do? Can I keep my cloak up as I get close and keep an eye out? Are there any lights on inside? Uh, you do see a faint bit of light in the inside. The front door is closed. The surface of the it. shop is wood? Uh, it is mostly wood. You can see there are some elements of kind of stone mooring at the corners that are kind of used as like central kind of pillar bases, both decorative and just add a little more. Shing, shing. Two chisels out. Okay. I'm going to start going up the side towards the awning, please. Like a man with an intense mission. <laughs> Terminator, intensi Terminator intensity, you just Terminator. up the side. Terminator, Terminator. Mm -hmm. my favorite like movie it. from the 90s. I love the Terminator. Um, <laughs> one by one, you take your chisels and climb your way up the side of the wooden exterior, the, uh, the wood paneling itself barely giving way at certain points, but you know exactly where to find the right load-bearing portions of these boards. Um, and you do see a trap door next to what looks to be like a, a, a circular uh, either stone or clay chimney where a little faint bit of smoke is just kind of drifting out of it. I'm fucking going in. Now this space for a normal person would be extremely uncomfortable, if not impossible to squeeze in without fear of getting stuck and becoming an episode of Rescue 911. Um, <laughs> but you are. <laughs> so I'll drop and roll out of the bottom. Okay, you drop, and I'll say with a, with, a, with a natural 20 on that, you manage to both push and kick off the side as you're falling, tumble out and land on the ground. Uh, looking around on the inside, you are in kind of the, the a back room that is adjacent to the the front kind of uh, marketplace portion of the emporium. Uh, within this room, I guess stealth check for me. I'm, I'm only allowing you a stealth check on this because you rolled a twenty on the athletics. Sure. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Um, Twelve. <laughs> That level of rope. So as you push off and you roll out, you do hit hit the the iron slightly on the way out, um, but then land quietly with nary a sound. This is what he took the level of rope for. This exact this moment. This moment here. Mm -hmm. The Where? little thing. <laughs> I will creep covered in soot, cloak down towards. Your door was closed. Uh, oh my God. Whoever's here, um, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Moving around in the dark real quick. And you watch as Tuyan holding uh, the mug is now like visibly shaking in her hand and she's looking around. Someone's shop should be like their home. You should feel safe. <laughs> I certainly. I certainly want to talk this out, whoever you might be, and you watch as she like starts moving over towards kind of this side Don't. portion of the middle. It's important that someone who runs a shop charges fairly for their wares. <laughs> I, I, I charge what I find to be a fair price, given the, the work and craftsmanship and the market price of such items. That's how you maintain a business. That's... <laughs> Disappointing. There is a brief beat after your snarl before you hear the sound of shattering clay and water on the wooden floor of the interior. The mug dropped, and both hands kind of up. You can see the the wide eyes of Tuyan glancing about in the low light, like these two massive spheres of of fear, uh, as she kind of slowly moves forward. I don't know what I did, what I said, but I will make it up to you. Uh, whoever you are, please don't hurt me. There was a time years ago where I would have just sat by my lonesome <laughs> and hated you from afar. But there's a different side of me now, and he wants to <laughs> And you see the fucking werewolf just <laughs> 
<laughs> turns her back. <laughs> just grab her and pick her up. <laughs> she is like running on the other side of the room, just like full on trying to get the hell away from you. She's like, <laughs> I love a chase. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll try and close on it. You close easily as you kind of cut her off. She sees you and is up against the wall now, like heavy breathing. Like, like Alien 3, just drool coming out of the teeth right up in her face. Let this be a warning. Charge fairly for your ways. And I'll slash across her arm. Oh shit, okay. Are you trying to kill her? So, as you claw past, you run your woven claws through her shoulder, and she screams in pain. There's a spray of blood on the wall and you know, left on your arm, and as she falls to one knee and starts like trying to, to hobble away from you, she's losing a lot of blood. <laughs> Blow as I dig in through my stuff, I take the little, uh, the little healer's kit, the one of two that I have. Yeah. I toss it to her. I'll be back. And I <laughs> burst through the, the front door, just smash it open. Oh, make Reverse a, make, a, oh, make a strength check. Okay. That will be amazing if it's a one and you smash it. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt this is where this is where it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean seven. <laughs> so Damn it! So yes. in this intense moment as you slowly withdraw. She's holding her arms, looking down at the healer's kit, like spilled onto the ground, the bits of like balm and, and bandages that now open against the low lantern light. You turn and <laughs> onto the ground. And there's just this awkward pause. There's a like a <laughs> <laughs> Reaches back into a pocket and tosses a key ring to you. Yeah, yeah, I get in the way. <laughs> and you charge off into the night. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you return to the rooms. Mm -hmm. I sneak in. <sighs> <laughs> Moving through some of the smaller marketplaces and heading towards a uh, the safest trajectory to get to the Smolder Spire, uh, a scent catches your nose. It is like the most incredible savory meat pie you've ever smelled in your entire life. Like, your salivary glands immediately click off. Yeah. And it's just like, oh. Can I follow, can I try and follow the scent? Yeah, yeah, okay. Make a perception check to see if you can follow the scent. One. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. One? What, 21? Oh, 21. Oh, 21. I heard, oh, I heard I one. I heard Sorry. one. 20. <laughs> fair enough, How fair enough. I was like, what, what, huh? <laughs> so yeah, you, you like, follow the smell, and it gets stronger and stronger, and it becomes like this almost Toucan Sam-like, like, draw. Like, you, you, it becomes this, like, overwhelming hunger. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, 16. 16. You go into a sprint. Oh! oh uh oh. Guys, this sounds really good. <laughs> what are all your movement speeds? 30. 35. 30, 35. What's your movement speed? 35. 35. Okay. In this form. And you watch as he like <laughs> snakes around one corner of the road, down this road bit, and you're just following it. It's, you can almost see it. It's almost like you're, you, you can visualize the scent itself. And you go past a couple of carts, some people kind of, you brush past and just people are kind of curiously looking as you curve into an yeah. alleyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and right as you curve into the alleyway, there's uh, a, a cloaked short man who's standing there holding this pouch that is like tied off and close and you can see it. And right as you turn the corner and look at him, he kind of throws it towards you. <gasps> Uh-oh. 
I mean, I fucking, I lunge at it. Yeah. You yeah. bite into it, and it is this like. Like a cat jumping at a mastel. <laughs> yeah. You just like <laughs> in your mouth, and it's at that point that your the transformation begins to kick in instinctually as the hunger sets in, and you bite into it, and it tears open, and your mouth fills with, it's almost like a like a dried herbs sort of cluster, like some sort of a, a, a collection okay. of, of of almost like a medicinal uh, texture, but it. It smells so good, but the taste is different what you expected. And the minute that you kind of take it in your mouth, you kind of look up at the figure with your mouth filled and like kind of spitting this out just as you turn the corner for him to catch up. And he throws this net over you. No! This like shiny sheen of a metal cable net. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not silver. The minute it clusters around you, you can feel your skin kind of burn slightly on contact. You meet a dwarven fellow with blonde gray hair, a bushy beard that's missing a section due to a scar that runs down his face from his bald head on top. He's wearing uh, dark leather armor, uh, has a crossbow at his side, and has thrown a shiny net upon you that kind of burns upon contact to your skin. Uh, you are restrained. As you turn the corner, you haven't quite caught up yet. You kind of catch his eyes, he looks past and goes, don't come this way, miss. Different business. I'm gonna try to reach out and grab the, the 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 net, the silver net. Okay, you reach out and grab the net as he reaches out and grabs the side and is giving you this look and you can see it like, his eyes are intense, goes like, Ugh! it's just business. Um, Fuck off. <laughs> well, you This is my business. <laughs> you. We're in initiative now because you open that up with yeah. an attack. Okay, so, okay. critical role miniatures. Oh, uh, io slash cr minis. Kind of in between the, the, the net hit and kind of held it at bay. Um, He's you're, going you're a, you're a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a bonus action, I'm going to use uh, blood curse of bloated agony. Okay. Creature yeah. within 30 feet uh, until the next uh, my next turn. He takes disadvantage on strength and dex checks. And other stuff if he attacks people. You got it. And then uh, with my, um, just with my action, I'm gonna try and. Uh, God, this is a metal net. I'm just gonna try and get get the shit off of me if I can. Yes, yes, you totally can try that. All right. So bonus action, like as the blight kind of takes effect into his body, you go ahead and use that moment to go ahead and harness that as the blood curse to fit into him. He doesn't quite recognize yet that it's taken effect as he's focused on fern, but still has one hand on the net. For you to try and break free, um, go ahead and make a strength check for me. Um, 19. 19 just fails. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not that strong of a net for most people. Oh. But ah. as you try and resist it, it like burns into you and seems to almost sap the strength away as you touch it. Oh. Um, for really old people. Yes. <laughs> Respect the elders. <laughs> I just kind of holding onto this net. This is a problematic cursed beast. And I'm gonna bring him in. The I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, but he's our problematic beast. Okay? Well, some folks want him taken care of. There's a bit of money on his head. Who? I'm gonna Who? take it in. Who? Who? Pulls you off the side, grabs the net, and is gonna attempt to drag it back further into the alley. Um, Fern, you're holding on to it? Yes, I am. Uh, so this is going to be a contested strength roll between you and him. Of course it is. Uh, 13. 13. 16 on his end. Oh, so, okay. so pulling the net free, he can oh. only... Oh, the metal hurts. Only 20 feet back as he kind of drags Chet further into the alley. He's <laughs> 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 like the pulling it past the, couple, past the couple stones. You see him uh, pull out of the side of his, uh, like the, the, the belt he has. No. This, are this beautifully polished silvered war hammer. Oh. And just kind of holds it in front of him, kind of over towards you as he pulls it back and just goes, Don't let him get, Don't get involved. Yeah. You're not the only one with silver. And I'll take out turmoil under the net and extend it so the scythe is out, glimmering silver. Okay, you try and pull the scythe out oh, and it shit. like extends, but you're also bound up tightly in the net. And so it's it's out, but you're like 
So yeah, it restrains. So all all rolls attacks are at disadvantage. That's, that's <laughs> totally fair. Um, uh, and I will I'll use the one uh, casting of shatter that it has Ooh. Uh, to go off right uh, right behind him. So it's uh, within sixty feet, but it's a ten foot sphere. Right. So <laughs> right behind him to catch him, send him towards us. His his beard hair kind of like <laughs> blows forward as he kind of like leans, squinting as this ex- this concussive explosion detonates behind him. You see rocks and stone in the nearby brick kind of like <laughs> crack just in the proximity. Nearby. Go for him. Now you're up. All right, same deal. Rolling along the cobblestone, flips up onto his feet. I can only go 15 feet, and I have no idea if this will work, but I'll try it anyway. And I use seedling to slash the air and send a cut into the net around Chetney, and I, uh, and I will hit net and Chetney, just trying to cut the net. Okay. Go ahead and roll for an attack. Yep. That is a 28. 28 definitely hits the net and <laughs> Chetney. Ah, uh, cool. Ah. Uh, that's nine points of damage. Does it have any effect on the net? It does. The net, like you can see, like like the this what you now figure out is silver threading along it. The cabling does sustain damage, not enough to break it, but it does look like it's taking quite a bit of a second hit. attack. Uh, you take the nine damage. As well. Thank you. Uh, second one's probably gonna miss. Uh, that is uh, well to hit the net and Chetney is a uh, thirteen. Thirteen uh, just yeah. misses. It looks oh, out no. at you. Um, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, it's fourteen. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> this is, why don't you hold your friend back there and let us just have a conversation? And you are charmed by him. Okay. So you be a charmed person. <laughs> and so he's like, calm. Just let us have a conversation in private. All right, give him a second. Wow. And so he drags Chetney back 20 more feet, and you can see he's like pulling him back into this the small sliver of the back alleyway, and he's kind of basically preparing for an exit. All right. Um, uh, that finishes his go. Uh, Fern, you're up. Scorching Ray. Okay, oh, that's a natural 19, so yeah. 29. Yeah, so three hits, so that's 6d6 six okay. six fire damage. All right, uh, 11, three, and a nine. 23, nine. And as a bonus action, fiery teleportation to get him out of there. Uh, is that through you or is that through? It's through Mister. Mister, so you can want to move Mister to him to do that? Yes. So as he's pulling him back into this alleyway, and it's like looking at you, and it's like, to Yin sense of regards. Uh, you walk up and kind of approach as Mr. kind of darts out from behind, grabs onto you within the net, and in this burst of flame, the net collapses to the ground. And you and Mr. both appear 15 feet behind yeah! you. The net collapses in the ground, and you see him like, <coughs> how much damage does he take? Uh, he made a save, with a, like a... 1d6 plus 4. 23, he's a really so, high dex save. Uh, 6. Okay, so 3 points of fire damage. Oh. He's been it's been roughed a little bit. Is that right? <gasps> Wait, what? Is that right? The shopkeep? <laughs> Pretty oh, Christmas for him. Oh my god! <laughs> the one he, wait, oh, wait, you stop. did this! Please stop! Zacchus! <laughs> wait, this is the guy <laughs> you fucked with? I think so, right? You were? Yeah, the, one, the one, one that overcharged me and, and I, then you I went back. back and, yeah, yeah, only yeah. one person yeah. here knows that. Right, you stealthed in by yourself. Yeah, it's just yeah. you. Oh, but oh the as, as, as the net falls to the ground the and Chetney's now free and kind of gathering yourself and looking back at him, he's there in the alley, Holy looking at the three of you and kind of like, he's calculating in his eyes. Um, does that finish your turn? Early game. This was like yes. episode two shit. It's pretty early. Uh, and I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. Okay. You. Whoa, he's gone. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Shite. Uh, right. And yes, I will use my. Uh, I'll just use my speed to try and stealthily. Is there a window on at any of these sides of the uh, buildings? I mean, they're, visually there are windows, but they're all currently closed. Okay, ones that are noticeable. I'll try. I'll just try and put my back along a wall in case he sends a hail mary down the, the alleyway, and I'm going to try and stealthy like shimmy, shimmy back towards the street. Back towards the street. All right. Yeah, you can go in behind my definitely allies. Definitely do that. And just be, okay. So kind of dark, <coughs> invisibly behind. Does that finish your turn? Uh, it does. Um, the figure kind of looking at this over, looks down at the net. 
walks up and grabs the net and kind of throws it over the shoulder and yeah, goes, you run, you run. I'll see you around again. And Misty steps. I hope so. Oh, he's gone. Mm. <laughs> and that concludes. Oh, but all the map that you made. That's okay. That's how it works sometimes.